Well, today's the day that the cat man comes to town. So all the cars that I take to the junkyard, if they got a good cat on them, I take them off. These are worth a lot of money. A lot of precious metals inside. And I have a guy that shows up here in my shop and buys all this stuff off me. So even after I made a profit already on the scale, there's still money to be made. And of course, aluminum wheels, I take those off when I get them. I gotta peel the tires off anyway, so if they're decent, I take them down to the local tire shop and the guy buys them off me. Sometimes 20, 25 bucks a piece, something like that. So just keep on making money. And of course, the batteries get around ten dollars a piece for those. Well, I get a lot of comments on my videos when I scrap cars. Comments that say you got ripped off, or you should have brought it to a salvage yard. They would have gave me more money. Don't you think I know what I'm doing by now? I mean, come on. Where are these magical salvage yards that will give me more money? I got $624 for that GMC scrap truck. There was nothing good on it but the doors, the cat, and the tires. I think I made out pretty good. And of course, all the free stuff on the side of the road. Well, that's just free money. I mean, when I'm driving around, if I see a washer, a dryer, a lawnmower, it goes right in. Metal is metal. These are the best kind of people to hang around. They don't say anything, don't ask any questions, but they got no heads. Well, the cat guy's gone. And I got 400 bucks in my pocket. Unfortunately, this one here is scrap. There was nothing in it. Someone blew that hole out when it was on the truck because it was plugged. And all the little beads came out. They didn't know. They lost $100 on the ground. Oh, well. I'm okay with 400 in my pocket. Talk to you guys later.